hooded figures dragging an idly through a dark dungeon. In unison, they all chant Latin together. <laughs> Suddenly, Italy starts bleeding from the face, and their body slowly deteriorates into ashes. But wait, something has arisen. You fools. Why have you plucked me from the sweet embrace of death? It's a zombie Roman Empire. We need you to build our roads so it lasts more than next summer. It does not need to last a thousand years. Like, a decade is enough. All that just because these European countries can't maintain their infrastructure. Well, I guess if they were going to bring back anyone for this job, you'd definitely pick the right place. I think it's safe to say all those roads are going to be leading to Rome. Though. But speaking of safe, being safe is very important on the internet. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. This is the best VPN deal on the market. You'll be able to stop ads and malware, enjoy blazing speeds, and even save some coins while shopping online. You can get some of the best deals while looking at airlines, hotels, or even online subscriptions like Netflix. Speaking of which, that's my favorite use of a VPN. I just love what Netflix has to offer in other parts of the world, like Canada or the UK. Sometimes I'm not even looking to watch something, I'm just interested to see what differs, but that's because I'm kind of a weirdo. You'll also be able to protect unlimited devices with Atlas VPN. And of course, it works with just a single subscription. Atlas VPN was developed by top security specialists and IT engineers in 2020 to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. There's currently more than 6 million users worldwide. You can get a 3-year subscription for just $1.39 a month. There's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. Act fast, though, because time is running out. Get your deal now by clicking the link in the description down below. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to What in the World Arcan contestants have reached the final question, and the first to answer will get a lot of monies. Let's take a look at this final question, ja. Worthless rectangle poopy land that speaks Spanish incorrectly. This is for 3 million euros. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna get it first? Is it Portugal or Puerto Rico? Oh, I don't think they care about who gets it first. I think they're kind of offended. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Puerto Rico was the first one that popped in my head. I didn't realize Portugal also, I guess, fits it. Spanish incorrectly. What does Germany have against them? That's just mean. Ah, uh, it being fall season, says Poland. You just gotta love October. Wait a second, what's going on. Poland, you good? Yeah, no, I don't think they're that good. Poland, Canada to fall. This African ball asking if they speak any French, but Canada responds, you're in Canada. We speak English here. Here comes Quebec, but of course, Canada just says the same thing. We speak English here. Even the French are asking the same question. No, frog, speak English. Even the Martians, Canada, really? You're on Mars and you still want them to speak this language? The amount of similarities between Canada and the USA, but I would have never known about all this without these comics. Kebabs exist. Do something, says Israel to US say, hey, uh, buddy, I love you, but could you maybe take a break for at least two elections? Oh, no, it's okay. Our shift's gonna end soon. Wait, what shift? Taiwan out of nowhere. It's China's time. Okay, have fun. Ah, communists are gonna do bad things to me. Do something. All the while, we have these balls lining up, waiting for them to get their turn. That's right. Step up and bash your views into the United States, all for a low, low price. Thanks for that, Washington, D.C. France asking Great Britain something. Uh, yeah, what do you need? France responds with whatever that is. A mer, what's that? Splish, splash, splish, splash. Oh, you're looking for directions. Yeah, I'm gonna need the amount of splishes there, mate. Do you know what a mer is? The Dutch and Germans can hopefully help with this. Or maybe not. The Netherlands point left and the Germans point right. Okay, okay. I, I need to think. What is a lot of water in one place? Oh! A C. Yes, exactly. And now they both point to each other. Okay, you guys are not actually helping. Did the universe just conspire to take the piss out of me today? France, how much splish splash do you need exactly? Oh, uh, I don't speak French. A lake? All right. Third time's a charm. I guess a lack. Come on. I know you know this. Just tell me I need a lack. Bring me lack. And lax says Germany. Splat. They want they wanted this fish. And the UK has just imploded. I guess that's not what they wanted. Ooh, an extended scene. We can all speak fluent English, right? Yep. Yeah. Ah! It was just a prank, bro, the whole time. I think I would explode too in the situation, Britain. Fall in Canada. Looks pretty beautiful. Fall in the UK. Okay, not quite as beautiful. Fall in Afghanistan. Looks just kind of windy. Uh oh, oh. This is actually the fall of Afghanistan. Fall in America. Pretty normal. Coming soon. Wait, what's coming soon exactly? The rain, the leaves, or whatever happened to No No Stan Land. I think actually they're all coming to America. Well, that didn't feel threatening at all. Ah, uh, fall. Nature's monument to trans... Whatever, Canada. Here we stand on the precipice of... Okay, you're just gonna speak these big old words. Here they go showing off again. What about you? Does fall remind you of anything special? One time we were watching football 
and my uncle started ranting about immig- Oh, and then I threw up on him because I ate too much pie. <laughs> Fascinating. I guess I should have mentioned just because there are a lot of similarities between us and Canada, there are still a lot of differences as well. Okay, Clays, now I'll have a statistic about your flag ratio. Of course, the Swiss with pretty much one of the most beautiful, just one by one. Neutrality is always good. Here's Belgium and Qatar, 13 by 15, and then one by 28 randomly. Yeah, they're wide boys. And we have Togo, which randomly uses a fraction. Okay, three by five. I get it. Whatever the hell Nepal's doing, four by three. Your flag is the only flag that vertical is longer than horizontal. How interesting. Nine. You didn't add the blue edge. Oh no, not this formula again. Yeah, I've covered the whole flag ratio thing in a whole other video. I love how throughout my entire life, I just assumed all flags were the exact same. I had no idea. Just about every single one has a preferred aspect ratio. And they get way too complicated. Like, it doesn't need to be that complicated. I do think there needs to be an international standard. Two by three or or something simple like that, or else we're all gonna declare war and eliminate you. Lebanon packing their bags and moving to Syria. Hi, I'm looking to seek asylum here, please. Wait, are you serious? You'd rather live here than go back home? Yes. Okay, what is possibly happening in Lebanon that I did not know about? Welcome to the fall clay contest. Here, different clays compete to decide which one has the best looking autumn landscape. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's see who will win. Woo! Our first competitor is Romania with Transylvania. Oh, very wonderful. He wants to suck our blood. Then we have America with his Rocky Mountains. Our third competitor is Biz Wait, what are they doing? Someone call security as my city falling will fall with it. Okay, let's not bring up this old rivalry. Might be a little bit too soon to be talking about the fall of Constantinople right now. Oh no, Egypt was returning home from holiday and some sort of accident happened. They grabbed what they could and ventured out into the desert. They walked for hours and hours. They were hungry dehydrated. All hope was lost. But wait a second. What's that? They saw something. It's a pyramid. We're finally home. Alexandria, Cairo. I am going to survive this very bad accident. <gasps> wait. Please give me food. I'm hungry. You're no pyramid. Ah! I need an extended scene. I wanted to see which one was going to oof first and see who ate the other. I'd imagine this happens often in the country ball universe. Egypt sure loves their random triangles in the desert, but uh, Singapore is not something they love. Does anyone else have nightmares about this though? Just being somewhere lost in the Sahara Desert. Like being lost anywhere is, is kind of scary, but the forest is one thing. The Sahara Desert is another. Like where do you go? Is it even possible? Does anyone have any like strategies to survive? How to discipline your clays by the Roman Empire. Step one, give a fitting name. Here's what not to do. Call an icy wasteland Greenland. Here's what to do. Netherland because you are so low. Looking at the Netherlands, says Germany. Step two, reward good behavior. You have been a very good lad lately, so I decided to treat you with some classic English dishes. I think India's sick of classic English dishes. Step three, punish the bad Bad clays. Kian eating all the cookies. Puta Dios mio run Bolivia. Oh, it's been chilly all along while he's hiding behind Brazil. Step four, practice frequently. Welcome Habsburg. Welcome hungry. Welcome. Oh, Serbia doesn't like you. Five, be patient. It's okay if you rebel. Go ahead and keep trying again and again and again. There's something kind of terrifying about that. And that is the tutorial. This is how your clay will be obedient and never rebel. I can see the Roman Empire might have written this book a little prematurely. I would like to get an updated version of what they think now that they're in the afterlife. Oh man, it's going to be colder and colder next week. Looks like autumn is coming. Better buy the clothes to dress for these weathers. Goes to this shop called the Bay. Hi, I would like to buy this parka for the autumn season. That coat is for the winter, sir. That's for when the temperature hits like below zero and it's snowing outside. Oh, it's my first time in Canada, so this is a bit new to me. Well, you better want to buy some footwear as well. That's why I also want to buy these pair of sandals. I don't know why I get this one, but I, I get it. There's just some people out there that no matter how cold it is and that no matter how many layers of clothes they have on over their body, they always just rocking some flip-flops. And I respect those people. I could never be that manly. EU looking at America fighting each other. Ah, these dumb US people. So backwards. Ow, my knee! As England and Denmark stabs the EU, and I don't think they're here anymore. Bro, it's just those third world Europeans again. They were going medieval, I guess. Why does they call the season fall, asks Estonia? Is because the leaves fall off tree? No, responds Finland. It's actually because summer is ended and we return needs to work. Days will be darker, colder, and it gives depression and anxiety because life falls apart. Shh. So you want ice cream? Yes! Luckily, that's why Finland has their little Finnish juice. Finnish juice keeps them just continuing on through this 
cold, dark life. Japan just made a fancy flush robot toilet. Beep, boo boo bop. How odd. Also kind of interesting, says Taiwan. Yes, this new technology is going to change everything. I think South Korea doesn't like it, but they are curious. Nepal down here says Japan is very strange. Robot toilet? Me barely have running water, let alone the toilet. Oh, I see where this was going to go. I thought we were just going to talk about the bid it thing. The U.S. does not use bid it's and... I am so terrified. I know the day will come. I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. You know, one of my favorite things about autumn is the leaves turn red. Of course, the USSR says that. So why have none of these burgundies trees been changing color when it's already October? Uh, these are pine trees. They don't turn color in autumn. Oh, I see. Stay there. I will return soon. If these trees will not turn into red, then we will be making them. Now start painting. Yes, Papa. All oh, those poor Soviet satellite states just forced to do whatever the weird USSR wanted to do. I'm so happy you all came for Oktoberfest. Now it's time to drink. Huh? Why is nothing coming out? What the hell is that? It's a check. Did you drink all the beer? Uh, was not meaning to. And that's why I did not invite Czech Republic this year. I, we know, we were there, remember? So I just found out the Czechs are not the number one drinkers in the entire world, but they are apparently the number one beer drinkers in Europe. For some reason, it's these guys that have the number one rank at the current moment. French Guyana, don't eat frog, it's not yummy. Mm. Antarctica, can these poop poop claims be kicked out so I have the best claim? Mate, can you not teach that person how to be snooty? I don't like it. It's many good to have clays watching my kids. I need a break. Yeah, I'm sure you do. They're so high maintenance. I don't know where it came from. Japan accidentally spills their wine. <laughs> I'll get the emergency blanket and the snail platter. Oh, these are all like French kind of territories or like somewhat associated with the French. Again, like father, like son. Naru asks, can I buy spam? Sure, why not? Spam might buy. Sure, I'll sell it to you. Spam me buy. It's bad for your health, man, but I'm too poor to say no. Quick, everyone, a mega typhoon tsunami global sea rising flood comes. If no high ground, we will not make it. Oh no, us not have high ground. What will we ever do? Whoosh. Plop. Oh, this was their plan all along. They got nice and pudgy so they could float. Of course, this, this comic actually has a deeper meaning too, unfortunately. 94.5% of people on this island were identified as overweight and obese. It also doesn't help that Naru is actually sinking. They are losing land as well. So now I'm just like sad. Funny comic, and then you look into it and it's like, ah. Uh. Colin cannot into Halloween likings. Well, why? Remember last year when Germany and Russia bullied me? Well, they do that every year. Don't worry, buddy. Buddy. I'll be a good aide. Just call me whenever, I guess. Thanks, America. Later that night. Come out. Poland knows you're somewhere. Oh, that's terrifying. P please. This isn't funny. Hoshless time. America. Poland, what have you done? Wait, what happened? Did they come? This feels like 1945 again. The USA just became Batman for a second and like a split time just beat them both up. Finally, Poland has been saved. Although, I think they're just as traumatized as they normally are when they get eaten up like this. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, don't forget to check out Atlas VPN. It would be only $1.39 a month for a three-year subscription. And of course, you get that 30-day money-back guarantee. It's literally the best VPN deal on the market right now. It stops at... Ads. It's fast, can save you a little bit of money while shopping, and you can protect unlimited devices. But you gotta act now. Over 6 million users are already enjoying the service, so hurry and check that link in the description down below. And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marx. Drew's Thick Breaks and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Bullsen Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.